statue or this the template of Pedro Alonso that SRP that will be the place for the statue or this the last day of the celebration the Plaza Independencia also that will be uh, the, the, the place of the opening mass and the place for the first communion the Cebu City Sports Center uh, we are trying to refurbish all these venues right at this very moment and then uh, with regards to heavy cases we have done several Eucharistic conferences now first the conference that talked about we shared about the Ukraine then the basic text and the last congress uh, we talk about we share the, the workshops of the 10 topics of the uh, basic text we have done also uh you guys the conferences in the district and in the big areas as of this moment only paris you guys the conferences are ongoing and the uh, basic text for the children, uh, we make it as the module for the First Communion there in our Diocese of Cebu. By the way, uh, we translated into the Visayan dialect the, the, the text and we distributed that to the Visayan speaking uh, dioceses and parishes. And then with regards to uh, one important component of the catechesis is the First Communion. So towards the end of our uh, presentation, this is the parable we present to you the requirements for the First Communion. As already announced by Monsignor Cherry, uh, to have a uh, nationwide representation, we are asking, the Cebu Archdiocese, the organizing committee is asking 20 representatives for the first communion for its diocese. Uh, there are 86 as dioceses and dioceses in the Philippines minus Cebu, so there will be 85. 85 times 20, that will make 1,700. Then there will be 500 street children also, first communicants, and then the rest will be in the archdiocese of Cebu, about 2,800. And we are there, uh, the archdiocese is composed of seven districts. So for each district, we, ask, we are asking 400 first communicants for each district. So that will make it 4,800. And all in all, it will be 5,000 first communicants. And the place where we will hold the first communion uh, can accommodate 30,000 30,000 people so 5,000 first communicants plus their parents that will make uh, 15,000 plus we are also planning to have all the catechists in the whole large diocese of Cebu to surround the first communicants they will be all wearing green so, so around in the archdiocese of Cebu, we, the catechist will be sister 6,000 plus. So we will be inviting them to attend, to attend on that um, occasion. Okay, so before the, the requirements, uh, with regards to the accommodation, because I am also working in the accommodation, uh, aside from the catechetic committee, I am also working in the accommodation committee, specifically the liturgical volunteers from the archdiocese and diocese who are actively involved or participating in the liturgical celebration of the International Eucharistic Congress. And I, I am also tasked to help accommodating you, catechetical ministers. So I would be very happy, or the archdiocese would be very happy if we can, we can create a mechanism to a certain who will be going there and until uh, they will arrive at what day and they will depart on what day oh, and, and what accommodation you, you will take there are hotels hotels uh, retreat houses pension houses and just just to remind you we will pay for them uh, you will pay for them for these accommodations but there is one free 
the homestay accommodation. So let us know. But myself and Sister Maricor would only help the catechetical ministers. All the all the other concerns, all the other people would be pilgrims there. There are other committees taking good care of them. So I would be very happy if we can create after this that mechanism to assert that we'll be going there uh, as to what accommodation you will take and when you will arrive and when you will depart. So that's it. Sister Michael, I'm going to present the these are the requirements for the first communicants. Good evening, everyone. So, uh, the Catechesis Committee of the Arzai Cebu for the IEC uh, have prepared these guidelines for the IEC First Holy Communion. As Father mentioned earlier, the event will be on January 30, and that is a Saturday. Uh, yeah, the day before the Statue or Orbis, which is the final mass of the IEC. So these are the following guidelines. First, each archdiocese is encouraged to send 20 children or first communicants. Number two, age requirement for the first communicants is 9 to 12 years old. Number three, baptismal certificate has to be checked by the coordinator of each archdiocese or diocese. Fourth, organize pre-sacramental catechesis for the first communicants in your respective archdiocese or diocese. Please refer to the IEC module for children sent to your respective diocese or archdiocese, which was uh, given last February from by the IEC uh, by the permanent committee. Uh, the CBCP permanent, permanent Committee for International Eucharistic Congresses. Then, organized practices, liturgy, songs, especially the theme song of IEC 2016. Uh, the children must know the action of the theme song. Lyrics of the theme song can be downloaded from the website www.iec2016.ph, while the action can be downloaded from the YouTube. Then, the children should avail of the sacrament of reconciliation in your respective diocese or archdiocese before coming to Cebu for the event. So I'm meaning to say all the preparations will be taken care by you. But, so for the thing sa Cebu, ready na lang sila for the general practice and the first communion event. And then presence of both parents or guardians on first Holy Communion, communion Day, which is on January 30, 2016, is a must. Next, first communicants and parents must attend the general rehearsal on January 29, 2016, at 9 a.m. at the Cebu City Sports Center. Next, the first communicants and their parents must have secured an accommodation in Cebu City with friends or relatives in Cebu City. Number 10, attire for the boys. Uh, white long sleeves with sports collar, black long pants, slacks, black leather shoes with white socks. And for the girls, white gala dress, long sleeves and white veil, black shoes with white knee-high socks. And then there is also the dress code for the parents. Mothers, all white. And for the fathers, white polo and black pants. Now, uh, we will be preparing the veil for the girls. Uh, so they will, they will pay, I'm sorry, that should be 70 pesos. 70 pesos will be distributed during the general rehearsal in Cebu City. So the veil, uh, yung round na po siya, hindi siya mahaba. Uniform for all the street children and uh, all the other first communicants. That is supposed to be 70 pesos. Candle is 30 pesos to be distributed also during the general rehearsal. So the candles are for the boys. So they, the boys will have to pay 30 pesos only. Right? The, the girls, they have to pay 100 because of the bail. And then the cut of time of registration is November 15, 2015. So that would be two months from now. 
uh, reply slip which serves as registration form should be sent back to Cebu ACC underscore mabolo at yahoo.com or uh, at our center, our Sayonison Catechetical Center, 2192 Seaborsa Street, Mabolo, Cebu that's all. Any any comment, Paul? Any comments or questions? My director is willing to answer your questions. Uh, as of this time, we have we have already two from the diocese of Milaga to only. Any questions? You'd like to have a copy of the guidelines, so. Ah, okay. So we will we will request the secretary to prepare and then we will distribute it tomorrow. Yes? It's a beautiful